Hello everyone, I am Nirinjan. In this video, I will show you how to solve problem on development of a lateral surfaces. I uh, will take a problem on a square prism. The side is 30 and height is 50 mm. Resting on HP in such a way that the rectangular face of the prism inclined at 30 degree to VP and a cutting plane is passed at a distance of 20 mm and the angle is given 50 degree to HP perpendicular to VP. So draw the development of a truncated prism. So first I will draw x y line is a thickness 2.18 Then I will take an angle 30 degree with respect to xy line 30 degree to vp that's a given problem so here I will draw a square of side 30 okay. now I will assign the dimension 30 mm 30. So I draw a square of 30 by 30. So I just increase the thickness to 0.5. Yeah. So find a midpoint to find the axis. Draw diagonally. Now this is the center from the center to x y line. From there again to the make it vertical another line from there to the height axis side is given 50 measure 50 mm 50 okay now draw, draw a line from all the corresponding lines to the x y line from there to the height draw all the lines similarly from the next point and to the above line, similarly one more point, similar the baseline. So again I will increase the thickness to 0.5. So axis line I will show it in a chain. Since the one more line is not visible when you see from front view, I will represent in dashed line. So as per the problem, the angle makes an at an angle 50 degree and the axis line is passing at a distance of 20 mm from the top face. I measure 20 mm from the top surface. Dry line taking axis as the reference and the angle is given 50 degree. 50 degree by zero. Okay, so there's an option called external entity. Just move the cursor to the line, it will show the extension. Now we'll change it to chain line. Now you can see here the all the lines are continuous and it's very thick. So there's an option called split line, split entities. So I'm going to split with respect to the axis. So this line shall make it as a thin line and another line you can make it as a dark from here to there. So next point thing is you have to name it. So naming is very very important. How to name it is you can start from left to right or right to right. So I'll start from left to right. This is my one dash since it's in front view. See second point you can go by clockwise or anti-clockwise. So now I'm going anti-clockwise. This is my second point. I represent as two dash. Similarly, point three and four, you can get it here. This is your three dash, and the four dash is behind it. It's not visible to you in front view. 
Similarly, the point 5 is here in this dashed line that is called hidden lines. So, totally you will get 5 points. Now, I need to draw the development based on this. So, I will go to linear pattern. So, the square is 30. I just increase the thickness of 30. Select the line and we want 4. I give it as 5. Just extend the line. Similarly, from here, extend the lines. See the point one, you will directly get it. Similarly, point two, you can directly get it. Three and four, it's already above the line, but you have to measure it from the top view. You cannot get directly. So what I will do, I just project the line to the top view. Okay. So now we can measure the distance from here to here. It is 7.42. Similarly, I just place one more point here to get the distance of it from here to the next point. It is 4.28. Okay. So this is, you can see my cursor. This is our one point. This is our two point. Three and four, you'll get it on the above face. So distance is given from the top view. That is 7.42. 7.42. Similarly, from another point, it is four point I draw and work another way just draw an arc the distance is four point two eight okay so now I can join a line by increasing the thickness to point five so this is your one double dash Similarly, 2, 3, 4, then 5, then back to 1, then 1 to the baseline. So, you can continue the lines. So, this is the development of a lateral surface of a prism. I hope it's understood. Only the naming is pending. You can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and back to 1. Similarly, A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H. If you have a doubt on uh, the naming part, uh, particularly 1, 2, 3, 4 or how many you will get 5 points, where you will get 3, 4, 5. I will explain in a 3D way. I will take a front plane, go to sketch. So, I will do the same problem in a three dimension view to explain in a better clarity. So, I am doing the same procedure. First, I am drawing a square of side 30. I want to measure the angle uh, 30. So, and also this angle 30 degree to VP. So I draw a square of side 30. Now go to extrude. Extrude length is 50. So what we can see in front view, this is how we can see in front view, we can show the hidden lines. So as I told the dashed line is not visible because that is behind it. So for this I will pass a cutting plane, okay, so I will pass a cutting plane. Uh, 
I'll pass a cutting plane now randomly. Just say somewhat like this. As per the problem, it is 50 degree. I just exit the sketch and cut out. So I just increase this. Because some of you get out how many points you can get it. Now I can see here if the cutting plane pass it like this, you will get five points. One, two, three, four, and five. I hope it's understood. Uh, so the same problem, I'll explain another condition. Now let's say if the cutting plane is somewhat like this. It is not cutting the, the top portion. Okay, this is your cutting plane. Now you can get four points, which are all one, two, three, and four. In the same problem, I'll explain again one more condition that is cutting plane, cutting both the top face as well as the bottom face. This is the top face, similarly, the bottom face. Any cases, how many points you can get? Let's see. Now you can see you get six points. One, two, three, four, five, and six.